Morning. So, what treats have I got today? Well, Danish butter cookies. A bit of a rusty tin. I've also got this thing. Uh, I found this by a bin shed uh, near where I live. Um, chucked out. I think it was part of a fridge or something. And this is uh, from Christmas last year. So, what I'm going to try and do is turn this into a little fire box. See how that goes. Uh, rusted on it. And I'm going to cook up a honey. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll get it out in a minute and you can have a look. Sriracha. Honey sriracha. So it promises to be really hot. Let's get this set up. Just tried bashing a hole in it with my little screwdriver. I was going to put a cut. Maybe I should have done it at home. But, um, yeah, didn't work out too well. Uh, hopefully you'll get enough air into it. I've put my little um, tinfoil thing down to protect the ground a bit. So, let's get it loaded up with wood. Put one of them in. <coughs> Some of the kiln dried in. Hopefully there'll be enough air getting into it, I don't know. We can but try, can't we? <sighs> See how that goes. With just one fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Here we go. We'll see how that fares. That seems to be going, doesn't it? Good old biscuit tin. See how this thing fits. I wish it'll fit. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I don't know what sort of metal this uh, thing is. But we'll cook away on it anyway. Hmm. Cool. Water's boiling. It's, it didn't take long. I'm quite liking this. Wood, biscuit tin wood stove. I'm gonna get the old uh, olive oil on, and I'll show you what I've got. So this is what I've got: honey and sriracha. Now I know I had some of this uh, in my big Kahuna burger. Uh, not this, the sr sriracha hot sauce. I'll put a little thing out there and that's pretty damn hot. So let's uh let's get the chicken on. Cool. Smell those peppers straight away. Sizzle. Cooking first. Chicken. Yes, I think it's chicken. Some 
more wood on. I did buy some hardwood, but the um, <clears throat> I need to chop it up. I can't believe that's gone out. Wood is so soft, burns through next to no time. Let's get it back on there at least. Let's get out of there. Get some of these uh, peppers and onions in here. Maybe I should have had a bigger frying pan. Bit of a mess tin. <laughs> I've got my uh, scissors here to cut the sauce and I'll pour that all over. Nice and thick. Messy. Stir. <clears throat> the handle of this nesting is getting a bit on the warm side, I must say. Ooh, that's all. <laughs> Got to say, it's not as efficient as the old fire box is it? But then again, if I'd put some holes in it I think it would have been better. Should let some air through underneath. We're nearly done now. Nearly done. <coughs> oh. I'm gonna have to use some wet leaves on this handle I think. I think it's done actually. A couple more minutes. Thanks. Making a bit of a mess here, isn't I? Made a bit of a mess of this mess tin. And again, it's in the name, isn't it? It's a mess tin. But it'll clean up pretty good. Oh, no. oh. I think that'll do actually. It's tasty. Mmm. Beautiful. Let's get me play. So let's dish this thing out. I like the burnt bits. Caramelised. Mmm. What do you reckon? Honey and sriracha hot sauce. I can taste it just by licking the spoon. How hot it is. So let's try this. Ooh. 
пошло. Let's got a kick in it. Mm. So nice. Spicy. Hot. Both kinds of hot. Physically hot and spicy hot. It's a good bag. <coughs> so what do you what do you reckon about the biscuits in firebox then? Still burning a little bit, have a look. See? Can you see it? There you go. Yeah. Probably be a bit more efficient. We've had holes in it. I forgot to do it at home and um, cooked it, didn't it? Did me coffee, cooked me food. What more could you ask? Eating like a pig again, and I think. So I'm going to eat this, and I'll bring you back. I've got a croissant for after, with some homemade plum jam in it. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Nearly finished. And that was mostly spicy. Made my eyes water a little bit, <laughs> which I don't mind. And I always like <clears throat> so a sip of a hot drink after um, eating spicy food. You get that afterburn, don't you? As I call it. Oh. <coughs> My hands are all sticky from that sauce all over it. I'll give them a rinse off in a minute. And now for me afters. Put the rubbish in my bag. A nice croissant filled with homemade plum jam. <clears throat> Got the plums for this from um, Casemates. Um, this one tree that grows outside Casemates, the actual building. It happens to be a damson tree. So you can say it's dams and jam. Mm. And it's very nice. Oh. I'm on the magic roundabout by the way, it's probably near cars. Doesn't matter if I ruin this because it's only a biscuit tin, isn't it? Whoa. <clears throat> I don't think I'll ever use it again. Obviously I'll never do this to my firebox. My proper firebox that is. So yeah. Biscuit tin, firebox. Does it work? Well, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does work. But I would recommend putting some holes in it. There you go. <laughs> Just thought I'd give it a go, see if it'll work. I used to use um, 
quality street tins in the garden just as a fire little fire pit really but I did use to knock holes in that and it's a work of treat the only trouble is obviously the ash builds up in it and uh, you can't actually empty it while the fire's going so yeah one drawback but old rubbish piece of rubbish and also pardon me <coughs> and also this thing I think it belonged in someone's fridge and they just dumped it by a bin shed so I thought that looks quite cool looks like some sort of grill I can use that last bit of my croissant Had the rain out of. <clears throat> it did rain earlier. There's a bit of a window in the weather at the moment. Gotta be careful with this camera, I don't want to get this camera wet. It's trouble. I was thinking I might um might start using an umbrella. <laughs> Carrying an umbrella in the woods. Just to protect the camera. I can come up with any other ideas. It's a Canon G7X Mark II. I'm not sure there's any waterproof covers for it. There is shot like covers for it um, if you drop it. But the trouble is the mic is on the top <coughs> of this and uh, the cover would um, won't be able to put the dead cat on. That's the only annoying thing. Mmm, good stuff. <clears throat> so, that's it. Biscuit tin firebox. Does it work? Yeah, I'd say it works. Not too bad at all. Okay then, let's head on back to the car. I only came out today because uh, I really wanted to test that um, test that biscuits in theory out, cooking over it in the woods. And yeah, it does work. Uh, it took a bit of a chance coming out today because uh, my car's got a water leak <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I have to top it up every now and then. Got it booked in next week to get some repairs done. But uh, it's a bit of a pain because it was only MOT three weeks ago. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get back to the car, top it up with water again. And uh, what I'll do is I'll see you next time when we're roving about, wherever it may be. Stay safe, okay? And I'll see you soon. Bye.